hello students today i will take ninth problem on center topic so this time we are given one figure and this figure belongs to symmetrical composite area so we have to find its centroid and all dimensions are given in mm so what is the first step first step in this case will be uh, the location of x axis and y axis now you see in this particular diagram x axis and y axis are not shown to us so we should label those axes first now as I said in the previous uh, lectures that whenever you are solving any problem you should see if there is any axis of symmetry then consider that axis of symmetry as one of the axes. Now if you will see this particular uh, composite area this area is a symmetric about this vertical axis. So let us first draw that uh, axis of symmetry. So this composite area is symmetric about this vertical axis. So it is a symmetrical composite area. Now we have to consider x axis and y axis. So what, sh what you should do? You should consider the base of the figure as x axis and consider this x of symmetry as y axis. Now when we will give the coordinates of the centroid of this composite area, those coordinates will be uh, related to these x axis and y axis. Okay, so first step was uh, we should draw the axis of symmetry if there is any then we should locate x axis at the bottom of the figure and consider x of symmetry as the y axis. Now in the second step we will divide this composite area into regular areas. Now in order to get this composite area you see in this composite area one rectangular opening is shown it means from this rectangular area this rectangular opening is cut. It means this is a hollow portion. In order to this, com uh, in order to get this composite area, what we will do, we will consider two uh, regular areas. First regular area will be a triangular area. From that triangular area, we will subtract this rectangular area. It means uh, we will consider first regular area as a triangular area. Second regular area will be the rectangular area. So this is the second step. Third step is we will locate their individual centroids. So let us locate centroid of area 1 that is a triangular area. Now in case of a triangle we know uh, if it is a symmetrical triangle you see this is a symmetrical triangle it is symmetric about vertical axis. It means uh, its uh, uh, centroid will lie somewhere on this axis of symmetry. But where it will lie? Centroid will lie at h by 3 from its base. So from the base we will draw one line fine and uh, that line will be parallel to its base and distance of that line from base will be at h by 3 h over here is 90 so 90 by 3 90 by 3 means 30 so that's why I have drawn this line at 30 mm fine so you see we have one axis of symmetry and second line is drawn at h by 3. So intersection of these two will give you g1. So what is g1? g1 is the centroid of area 1 that is the triangular area. Okay now we will locate the centroid of second area which is a rectangular area. And in case of a rectangle we know centroid exactly lies in the center. That means l by 2 and b by 2. How much is l? l is 20. So at 10 fine from this end at 10 means on x of symmetry then this uh, centroid lies at a distance of b by 2 from this end from this bottom side b by 2 b is given as 30 so b by 2 is uh, 15 so this distance is 15 so we have located g2 as well fine so second step was to locate the centroids of individual areas so we have located those two centroids g1 and g2 now what is the next step? Next step is the calculation part. But over here one thing to understand that this particular area, composite area is a symmetric about y axis. So if it is a symmetric about y axis it means its centroid will lie somewhere on y axis. Fine. It means in this particular problem x bar is 0 because it has vertical axis which is x of symmetry so that is y axis so distance of centroid from a y axis will be 0 that is x bar why because centroid will lie on x of symmetry that we know it means in this case we just have to find 
y bar so what is y bar y bar is the distance of center of this area from x axis so in order to get y bar we need to do some calculations first so let us first write area 1 for area 1 three calculations are required its area a1 area 1 is a triangular area so half into base is 100 and uh, altitude is 90 so from here we will get its area as 4500 mm square then we will find x1 so what is x1 x1 is the distance of centroid of area 1 that is g1 from y axis it is already on y axis so x1 is 0 or there is no need to calculate x1 y because we already know that x bar is 0 so next is y1 what is y1 y1 is the distance of centroid of area 1 that is g1 from x axis that distance is 30 over here it is given as 90 by 3 that is 30 then we will do similar calculations related to area 2 so what is area 2 it is a rectangular area a2 will be length into width length is 20 its width is 30 so 20 into 30 so this will be equal to 600 mm square then we will calculate x2 what is x2 x2 is the distance of centroid of area 2 that is g2 from y axis it is already on y axis so x2 is 0 next is y2 what is y2 y2 is the distance of centroid of area 2 that is g2 from x axis means this distance how much is this distance this distance is 30 this is 30 plus this is half of 30 that is 15 so 30 plus 15 that is 45 mm then then as we discussed that there is no need to calculate x bar because this whole figure has one x of symmetry so centroid will lie on that x of symmetry so x bar will be 0 so we just have to calculate y bar what will be y bar y bar will be a1 y1 minus a2 y2 divided by a1 minus a2 y minus we have used in the denominator and denominator because this complete composite area will be obtained after subtracting this rectangular area from the triangular area so that's why we have used minus sign over here so when it, let us put these values a1 is 4500 y1 is 30 minus a2 is 600 and y2 is 45 divided by 4500 minus 600 so when you will solve it you will get answer as 27.7 mm that means from x-axis along this particular axis of symmetry we have to measure how much 27.7 so this distance is 27.7 that is y bar and this intersection is g that is the center of this composite area i hope this particular problem is clear to you thank you very much